Blessings, soul travelers. Happy hump day and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. It is Priestess Melissa. We are going to get into a reading today in the waning gibbous moon energy in the sign of Ophiuchus. So right now we're being aware of what are some per perhaps deceptive energies that we may need to be aware of, especially from those in our romantic circles, all right? So we're going to see what's coming out in the Shapeshifters Oracle cards to get an overall Oracle message. I'll then, um, you know, of course, read from the book a little bit on that and get an, a more of a little bit of a clearer understanding of the card that comes out for us as a collective today. And then we will get into the Psychic Tarot to get an overall message for the Celtic Cross, clarifying all of that with the Master Tarot. We'll also pull out the Moonology cards, which we haven't done in a while, just to get a little bit more energies, a couple of cards with that, to get see what's going on in the Moon energies behind this Ophiuchus in the waning gibbous energies at this time and don't forget at the end we always do some love messages today will be coming out from the romance angels cards and i will read from the book on that one as well uh, to see an overall energy of what's going on in the realm of love for our soul travelers out there. Thank you so much once again for joining me. And also do know that I truly appreciate all of your likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Continue to do so. And we will then be able to tap into your energy and get some clear messages for you, my dear soul travelers. All right, and if you haven't, please do check out your elemental reading, which within each one of those does contain your very own zodiac reading. Leave a comment and let me know how those are resonating with you. And don't forget to hit the like button on those so we can continue to get those out to people who need them. Thank you to our angels, ancestors, weight showers, and guides. Always we honor you for clear, concise messages to help us through this hump day and every day. Blessed be, so it is. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. All right, let us see what is going on in these crazy moon energies. How have they been treating you? I know a lot of us have been really dealing with some, you know, balancing out of things and really deciding what do we want to have in our lives moving forward from this point. You may have been faced with a lot of towers in your life at this time and choices, hard decisions, you know, choosing yourself over maybe things that are not really working so well for you anymore and, you know, seeming to be on the same page with you perhaps. All right, the energy coming out today is the golden phoenix. Something you thought was finished burst back into life. 12 energy. All right. Phoenix rising, huh? Something trying to burst back in as you're trying to rise, perhaps? This could be an energy of something trying to come back into the scene or onto the scene. This 12 energy coming to a three. And if you're already with someone, this could mean a third party type of situation. Not something you necessarily want to deal with when you're in a healing phase and starting to rise. Is this you today? Hit the like button if that's you. But let's look in our book and see what is going on here today with this rising phoenix golden phoenix energy number 12 card so we're going to read the main energy around this card today because as you can see it gets pretty lengthy and i'm not going to keep you here all day so the main energy of this card says passion and desire will and force and a new intelligent direction are all on your agenda Health and fitness are also part of your new theme. Firing up your metabolism is a very strong desire and a sacred duty. You can be, become stronger, fitter, leaner, and healthier. The Golden Phoenix does not speak of having a certain 
type of body, but he will show you how to recreate that which you have been gifted with. Health can be reinvigorated. You may learn to run faster, play a sport, or take up yoga. Your physicality can be reshaped. With the Golden Phoenix, you reach new levels of athleticism. If you follow the Golden One's advice, your own body will be at its most harmonious and comfortable, and it will be working well and supporting you. Candles, lighting fires, and meditating on purifying your diet and following through on the Golden Phoenix's messages will help you recreate yourself. So the Golden Phoenix's message, message says, you retreated, rested, and you recovered, and now you will reignite. You thought something or someone was done, dead, in the past. But this once lifeless thing of ashes is about to flame back into full existence. That was the energy I was looking for that did not come out in the divination aspect. I knew that this could be a possibility of something coming back, someone trying to come back and reignite that fire, if you will. You are about to witness a resurrection and you and the reborn will have the chance to recreate something of warmth and beauty together. Something pure, innocent, and wise that will benefit many. Life always finds a way, and you will have a golden phoenix guiding you to rekindle a dream you gave up on too soon. Maybe this is what you need to put your energy towards. If something is trying to come back today, let it be something that can truly benefit you and bring that life back to you. What is this today, perhaps, for us? Let's look into this more. The Golden Phoenix, something you thought was dead, is about to what does it say? burst back into life. Wow. Well, let's see what this is today for us, shall we? Are you excited about this? Are you feeling like that Phoenix? Are you feeling like you've been brought back to life today? after some kind of mental confusion around what your destiny really was? Have you figured it out now? Or are you stepping back into something that you, you know, tried before, but again, moved on too soon? Maybe you were confused. Maybe there was something that was not allowing you to see a situation clearly, right? Maybe it was you that was blocked in your mind about where you could really, you know, invest and have that harvest come in for you and be able to be abundant in your life. So now something is about to burst back into life, though. This is amazing and wonderful. So spiritual strength in reverse, you know, it may have felt like you weren't being supported and that everything was just very confusing for you. That your intuition was off, but now I feel like you're starting to tap into that much better. That spark, that phoenix, you know, maybe this is that meditation process. Maybe that's what you gave up on too soon and really tapping into that, you know, um, process of getting to know yourself on that deeper level like we are meant to do when we are in that process right but it is a practice that you have to work with right it does bring a lot of awareness of course to you it does help you to really tap in and see what you need to see but if you were impatient about the process you know and you didn't give it enough time to grow and you, you know, then got caught up in other things, perhaps, and uh, took your 9-11, I just saw, yeah, what did you get caught up in? I can't wait to clarify that. Um, but you turned away, you know, movement, choices, and decisions. You didn't make a choice. It, it looks like to me, you know, like you basically stalled your progress, if you will. Obstacles and challenges in the reverse. You can make a choice, though, to uh, remove those balance, you know, those obstacles from your way. Basically, it means, you know, making a choice on yourself, understanding that you have a hand in this. 
you have a hand in your own destiny and how that moves forward, what you're able to really tap into this lifetime. You know, you have that ability to rise to your highest perspective, to be that phoenix, and to not only to reignite something that you had started to tap into, that you were really starting to build, but you gave up on it too soon. You got distracted by something is what this looks like with that temptation energy in the, you know, uh, past energy. This is perhaps a relationship, uh, something of that nature, because it was some decision that you got on your mind here that didn't work out for you very well. Awareness in the middle of all of this. What is this all about? Ace of Cups, yeah, this was something that, you know, you were looking for your happiness. Your happiness is very important to you is what I feel. And I feel like now you really are trying to tap into what that really is for you on a deeper level. And that's very important because it's going to affect all the decisions that you're making here with this movement and decisions and here with financial and material changes, you know, it's going to have a hand in everything in your life. You know what I mean? You definitely don't want to deal with small things. Right now, we're talking about dealing with big things and spirit has big things here for you. What is this patience in reverse in regards to the golden phoenix? Yes, you needed to go within. You needed to spend that time. You just gave up too soon once again and didn't allow that process to really take hold within you so that you could really see the power of it. Oh yes, divine timing. You need to allow that process to unfold, right? It's, it can be a difficult process to you know, sit with ourselves, to spend that time in silence and not be distracted by other things like our phone or social media or, you know, other people or things of that nature. Yeah, money. Maybe you were focused more on the mundane and more about your own, you know, the way you looked or the way things looked as far as, you know, you look like you have things together and maybe you do. And maybe, you know, you felt like because everything was okay and you weren't necessarily in dire straits or whatever, then, you know, it's not something you need to put a lot of focus on. But the truth is, that's really where you needed to put your focus on, actually. The Queen of Swords is saying there were some things that needed to be cut out. And maybe, you know, your focus on the mundane things and things of that nature is really what that was about. Two of Cups in reverse, definitely, you know, this is about making choices where you understand that those two cups, the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself, being strong within those are going to help you to make the right choices and decisions, right? This two in reverse, we're not moving, we're not making the right moves with this movement choices and decisions. We're not making the right moves and choices and decisions for ourselves, right? And maybe this all has to do with love in this particular instance, choosing what's really going to make us happy with that ace of cups. I believe that's what we're really seeing today, especially with this lover's energy coming out here. All right, so this is all about choosing yourself and choosing you know, what's important to you, which should be your own self-worth and value. Obstacles and challenges. Yeah, you no longer have any strength for that. You know, you don't want to deal with any more of that is what I'm seeing here today. And that's good to see because it's like, you know, I'm not feeding the beast any longer. You know, I'm no longer checking for that kind of energy that constantly has me, you know, focused on things that <laughs> take me away from my healing basically and the phoenix can't rise from the ashes if it doesn't do its healing you know that's the truth of the matter and this is the harsh truth basically and if you're not facing it then you're not going to be able to do that healing and move through this process like you need to hit the like button if you're resonating with this message today for sure and let us get some moonology cards out today to see what the advice is from spirit moving forward on this reading today you definitely need to be focused on what spirit is trying to offer you today 
that is really what's going to bring you happiness and stability in your life when you got your focus on higher things yeah absolutely your cup is always going to run over you're always going to be in a state of peace with that dove there right and the hand of god is always going to be there to catch you to always make sure that you know you're going to have that support on the earthly plane as well as on the etheric planes with your angels and things of that nature what are the moonology messages coming out for this reading today the golden phoenix what is going to help us to rise confidence is your key to success so it is stepping into that lion heart energy and trusting in your own heart going deep within right building those stores in your solar plexus and those lower chakras if you will all right this denotes that that orange or that yellow energy so the sacral chakras and also the solar plexus chakras so you can work with citrine and you can work with uh, colors also like uh, carnelian to work with those energy centers to make them more powerful and to help you to work with your confidence today. All right, two cards coming out, hitting me in the face as I'm talking. So the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. This did come out in reverse. So it is all about the energy that you're putting, 1616, I just saw on the timer. The choice that you're making as far as your energy that you're putting towards all of this, your confidence, that is going to be the energy, that momentum that drives everything forward, right? And the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini, all right? So whatever has been hidden from you, it is getting balanced out. If it hasn't been balanced out already with the answers that you need, you just need to be willing to use your intuition wisely and see that the healing is really what's going to help you to be able to move through all of this today. All right, let's get a couple of Romance Angels cards out today and see what is the energy of love for the collective, the soul travelers out there. How is all of this looking for us? Give us a Romance Angels card, please. <clears throat> so retreat is coming out for us today. This is a time to disconnect from the world. Now, let's check this energy out. This always does read for not only people in, you know, union, but also people that are single. So this could be a time regardless for you to retreat, whether you're with someone or not. I'm going to read this card to you today. The romance angels see that your love life blossoms as you spend time alone with your partner or by yourself. It appears that you have become confused or conflicted by other people's advice. It's time for you to disconnect so that you can better hear your own feelings and opinions. If you are in a partnership, spending time together apart from others will renew your commitment and take it to the next level all right because you're getting away from other people and all of their chat chat chattery right this could mean taking a vacation going on a nature hike enjoying a long drive or turning off the phone and computer as you both enjoy a quiet afternoon at home. You don't even have to go anywhere. Just turn everything off. Just be with each other or be by yourself. You know what I mean? The painting on this card also indicates a honeymoon, which could be the literal message. So there may be a deepening of commitment or a new serious relationship if you are currently single. This card may indicate an upcoming engagement, wedding, or renewal of vows. These activities are more meaningful as you spend time alone with your partner, or again, with yourself, 1919, 2020. Make a choice. If you are presently single, this card guides you to spend time by yourself, meditating, so we got that in the Golden Phoenix energy, meditating, upon your true feelings and thoughts all right this is all about you meditate on your own true feelings and thoughts and what is real for you and what is really going to make you happy 
Be sure to take action based on any intuitive guidance. This strengthens your energy, which helps you to rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner. Just the one that you want, all right? So this is all about what we are trying to create in our lives, becoming that alchemist. We have to do the healing though, definitely to be able to pull back and see what we need to see to get those answers because they are coming. All right, are you ready to see the, the answers that you need? Are you ready to be as that lion heart energy and that phoenix energy? Confidence is your key to success. You know what you deserve and what is best for you. Pulling back, retreating at this time may give you the answers that you need. Blessings, soul travelers, on your day ahead. And I will see you again soon for another reading. Bye for now.